Yeah, yeah, it's your boy Jangs back with another vid. And on this video, we're gonna do a part two as we're playing West Ham back to back, so it's only right. I'm gonna do a recap of the game on weekend and I look forward to the game this weekend, see if I can predict the team and what team I expect. But it's only right we start with weekend and the team selection because Solskjaer was under a little bit of pressure after midweek and his tactical decisions and substitutions but I think he got his team selection bang on this week what he was expected as I said in the previous video after a result like that Solskjaer always jumps into his safety net and to be fair away from Scott McTominay who I wasn't too sure about I think I got the team selection bang on that's because I thought Scott McTominay wasn't fit. So on that team I put um, Pogba on the inside. And I put Jay Lings on the left. But apart from one. Apart from two players maybe three. I didn't think we had a particularly good game. I didn't think we played well. I can't remember us sustaining a long enough possession. Like for 10-15 minutes. Even 5 minutes. I just can't remember us having dominating moments in the game I just think the game was purely won off the fact that we've got individual world class players and that's the truth that's what I think personally I didn't think we played well during the game I think we played the game well in spells I think Fred and McDonnell had a steady game I think Pogba played like the game itself. He was in bits. He was good in bits, not good in bits. I think Greenwood didn't turn up. Wamba Saka and Shaw wasn't at their usual best. Ari Maguire. Ari Maguire didn't have the best of game, but he did play good. I just think some things he wasn't doing right, but he won most of his aerial duels and that. I think the other two players that stood out for me was Varane and Ronaldo I just think the know-how and the class of them two was different from everyone else I just don't I didn't think anyone else had particularly good games that's just me personally I thought Varane or oh, Varane's, di Varane's different it's just different class Varane's the type to see uh, the guy's like a Rolls Royce defender type of guy that when all the man them go out for a curry and a little drink and that he just have a cup of tea and some biscuit just to keep things classy like and he played so good he played a very good game yesterday or the other day and no one really picked up on it that's because how calm and composed he is at all time and know the deflection I think it was off him or Wamba Saka but Varane was class and like I said, Scott McTominay had a game. And the guy that pissed me off most in that game was Bruno. And he has been doing it for a while now. And I've brought it up many times. And I'm going to bring it up again. And regardless of what all the Bruno fanboys want to say, there's nobody that's above criticism in this team. And I hate the fact that every time the ball comes into him, all he does is turn and pass it. Sometimes he doesn't even turn and look. He just tries to clip this ball in, trying to be smart. And it's mad because it's one of the things I like about him. But there's time and place that you have to do that. Not every run should be played in. Some runs should be used as decoy. Just decoy runs. Sometimes you just have to take a second like you just got to be a bit more careful when in possession of the ball in that part of the pitch because the times when he loses the ball and we're pushed up that quick to support him or to get involved in the attack as soon as he clips it to someone and we lose it we're on the back foot and if we've got Greenwood and Pogba and Shaw already up Shaw is quick can probably get back but Pogba and Greenwood they ain't gonna get back in time and Bruno's the one who lost the ball. So he's out and he's not going to get back in time. So therefore we're defending with less man than we than we should. 
And I just don't think that's right. I just think you should take a little bit more care with the ball in that position. And that's not me saying Bruno's bad or anything. That's just my criticism of him. You just take better care of the ball in that position. Two players who do that very well is Kevin De Bruyne and Luke Modric. They do that well when they're in that position. They take care of the ball. They try their best to play the right pass at the right time. I just think Bruno sometimes rushes it too much. That's just my opinion and to what I can see and it's continuously happening. But all of that aside, the thing that matters is the win and in the context of the game and what happened and all the penalties we should have had and didn't have because the first one on Ronaldo, a million percent should have been a penalty and to David Heroics. Because people always forget how many times this guy saved us. This is not the first time. He's been saving us for years. All through bad management. Even to mark a manager who only play possession football. And you're not allowed to shoot. The Gea was the one there saving us. He kept us at bay. Whether or not it was one year in Champions League. Two years out. It was because of the Gea. One player. But people always forget. Like I always say. Form. Temporary. Class. Permanent. You can't lose class yes your time will come at a certain age but a goalkeeper in his 30 especially early 30s that's just coming into his prime or the start of their prime should I say and the perfect example is my favourite United keeper of all time is Van der Sar just look at the level he was at when he came to United or went to when he came to United And that moves me into the next vid part of the video. And that's a look forward to the game in midweek. And this game, all I'm expecting to see is... This is where, for me, I'd know if Solskjaer has changed. If Solskjaer is a new man or not. I expect wholesale changes. I expect for him to rest at least three... I'm going to say a minimum of four of our big name players. In whatever order he wants to rest them. There's two I would rest straight away. Let... From this team, there's one substitution I would make. I'd think this wouldn't even be a substitution. It would just be expected. All right. So, let's ignore that Anderson one for now. Because I think Anderson should play. And people probably think I have problem with Anderson. Which I don't. I do think Anderson is a decent keeper. I just don't think he's ready for United's number one. But games like this, I'm happy for him to play. But these two, I would give these two a rest because I think the last two games, two maybe three games, Luke Shaw is not the Luke Shaw of last season, whether or not it's Euro um, Angover. But I would rest Shaw and I would rest Aaron Maguire. Then this has got nothing to do with performances or anything like that. This is just me purely, purely using or exercising the strength of our squad because I just think some players need more playing time now for me I would definitely rest Ronaldo because Ronaldo should only be playing Premier League and Champions League if Solskjaer ain't a big enough manager to sell Ronaldo you're not playing this game I w you know what I might even go as far as to say he's not even travelling with the match day squad yeah, go relax and settle in with the family and that but just in case, because you know me, I said win a trophy. Because if we're in pace with the league and we win this trophy, our previous manager, Pep Mourinho, always said, even I'm, I'm sure someone else said it as well, winning this trophy just gave the squad that boost to go on and win more. And it'll just help us get over the line if we can do it. And I think we've got a good enough squad to go far in it. But yeah, I just think we could do. And what's that? That brings me to free substitution. I know we all want to see done it in but I would give Sancho a go and I don't really like Sancho from the left so I'd swap it and regardless of what way you want to go if you don't want to go Marshall down the middle that I just think these two can play any way like that but I think that's a big enough and a good enough team to go and be West Ham and like I said, it's not about the players' performance. It's about the squad 
and managing your squad and I think this game is a perfect game to rest the players have them recharge their battery mentally and physically and get ready for the game against Aston Villa who's in good vein of form you can go too far as even making another two substitution in my eyes because I just think you could bring Donny and Jesse who's in good run of form regardless of his mistake in midweek And that's all I wanted to say about part two, United v West Ham. Let me know your opinions, your thoughts in the comment. Would you make any change or would you go with the same team? Or would you rest players? I just think it's a perfect game to rest players. Let me know in the comment. Like, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.